What's going on guys? It's Omni Arkin. Today I'm bringing you a brand new video. I know it's been a really long time, like 10, 12, 14 days. I don't even know how long it's been since I last uploaded and this has definitely been the longest break that I've taken since last summer. Um, but finals are over. I think I did really, really well this semester, so I'm super happy about that and hopefully you guys understand why I had to take a break for so long uh, and just focus on school for a little bit. So anyway, today we're going to be talking about school because this is something that people have asked me before. Um, you know, a lot of my viewers might be a little bit younger than me. Maybe they're in the uh, later stages of high school, you know, or maybe they are, they've graduated high school and they're just working a regular job and they say, hey, you know, uh, should I go to college? You know, what do you think? Is it really hard? Do you think I'd be able to pass college? Um, do you like college? Do you think it's worth it? And a ton of things like that. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about college because this is something really important that I think uh, a lot of people should discuss. I know from my experience in high school, pretty much the guidance counselors basically prepared you for college. They basically said like, oh, you know, you should take these AP courses. You should take as many as possible. That way they count towards college credits if you do well. Um, so they basically, you know, pushed college really, really hard the entire time I was in high school. Unfortunately, the truth is that, that college is not for everybody. And I know that um, a lot of people would say, oh, you know, that's that's irresponsible for you to say, Omniarch. That's, you know, maybe, uh, you know, you are trying to or you're, you're not giving people the best advice you know people should at least try it uh, and I think that college what college should be and I think that this has been you know people have lost sight of this especially like parents and this basically our culture in general basically says you have to go to college to be successful which is not true um, but I think you know what college is supposed to be is you find something that you really really like that you're passionate about and that you want to study uh, and do for the rest of your life and you find that high school uh, doesn't offer enough knowledge on that topic and you want to continue learning about whatever this is that really really fascinates you so you go to college for that specific subject uh, <clears throat> and in that case you are much more likely to perform well and do as well as you need to in order to get your degree because college is somewhat difficult it's definitely harder than uh, high school and it really depends on what degree you're going for in terms of difficulty but um, college is definitely harder than high school if you're going for your bachelor's and associates is a different story um, so that's really my theory on college you know most people I think if you want to go to college find something that you really 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 like to do and do that uh, I know a lot of people are gonna say oh but you know if they do art then they're not gonna make money and how are they gonna pay bills and all this stuff and that's a very legitimate concern. Um, art is a little bit different. Um, it definitely helps to have an art degree, but I think if you're really, really creative and driven, you might be able to succeed without a degree. Um, and again, I'm not like some super, you know, wise guru of knowing how you should live your life or what path you should take. Um, but you know, loans are definitely something that you need to take into consideration. There's a very, 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 very good chance that you're gonna have to take out loans if you're going to go to college and you do have to pay those back. There's no, uh, filing for bankruptcy on those loans, especially, or if they're from the US government, you can't do that. Um, so they will expect that money at some point. So you have to take that into consideration. So don't say, oh, okay, I'm going to be a doctor, even if you don't really care about biology or chemistry or medicine or anything like that. Uh, because, you know, I found that the coursework gets very, very, very hard. And it's super difficult and discouraging to continue to pursue that coursework when you're not actually genuinely passionate about whatever you're studying. So, you know, I know there are a ton of people that are very uh, extrinsically motivated where, you know, they are very motivated by just getting a good job and very motivated by making their parents happy and things like that. And those types of people, of course, uh, can get through college no matter what the degree is and they can get, uh, you know, through it. And at the end of it, you know, they'll be making a lot of money. And a lot of times those people are the ones that hate their job when they come out. And, you know, of course, um, it's better to hate a really high paying job than to be broke and borderline homeless. So, you know, it's, you know, it's not like, you know, hating your job is the worst thing in the world, but, um, I think it's definitely a lot better to, you know, have a job that you love to do and not have the highest paying job in the world. You know, obviously if you like building model trains, you shouldn't be making what a doctor makes, of course, because you don't contribute as much to society. But, uh, so, but if you love model trains, I feel like you're going to, uh, you'd rather have some sort of job in that industry, you know, whether it's a hobby shop or, you know, whatever, uh, or building them and selling them to people. Who knows? I don't know anything about the industry. It was just an example, but you know, uh, I think people, you would much rather enjoy your lower paying job that you love than having a high paying job that you hate so that's something to keep in mind so basically if you're asking me um, <clears throat> should I go to college my two uh, the two responses I would give you are a 
Is there something that you're super passionate about that you would love to learn more about? And if that's the case, then yes, I would say go to college. That's the only place that you're really going to get an official education. And I know you can learn as much as you want about a topic on the internet because the internet's fucking amazing. Um, but you're not going to get hired by Pfizer to work in a drug company when you don't have a degree. So, you know, it is kind of like a scammy system where, yes, I could know every single fucking thing in the world about drugs and I've never gone to college, uh, but they're still not going to hire you because you don't have that official piece of paper. How do they know that you know all that stuff without that official piece of paper? So that is one gripe that people have with college because it is super expensive and it feels like a scam like hey you have to go here uh you have no choice despite you actually knowing the material you have to pass our courses so yes that's kind of bullshit but um i would say if there's something you're really passionate about pursue that in college and i would say if you're very on the fence about whether or not you like it or if you think you can pass go to community college first um don't jump into a private school don't jump into something that's really expensive just go to a community college first it's a lot cheaper and you can figure out what you like um if you don't know what you like or if you want to try chemistry or if you want to try physics or if you want to try english uh just go to community college it's almost always far 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 cheaper plus you can live at home and live with your parents if that's a situation that you currently are in and you can test the waters and by the time you get an associate's degree you're pretty much halfway to your bachelor's anyway and then at that point you should know like okay i really do like this thing let's continue it on to a bachelor's or you can say hey you know what college isn't for me um, the other thing is, if you're asking, should I go to college, but you're not passionate about something, but you are very extrinsically motivated, you're very goal-oriented, and you're very, very responsible with time management uh, and things along those lines, then you can probably push yourself through college, and this is a lot more of a risky thing for me, because personally, I thought I was that way, and I came to find out that that wasn't the case. I needed to switch majors in order to continue going to college, because originally I was going for pharmacy, and I absolutely hated the course material, uh, even though it was a great job at the end of the program I just really really hated uh, what I was studying and that not reflected in my grades even though in high school I was a very very good student I was doing poorly in college because I just could not study enough uh, and understand the material enough because I just didn't like it so um, that might not be the case for everybody but I know that uh, if you're anything like me that would be the case for you as well so I had to switch majors to business administration with a concentration in marketing and that's what I do now the other thing is maybe college isn't for you and this is something that i feel like is taboo to talk about but it really shouldn't be uh <clears throat> college isn't for everybody some people fucking hate college some people hate studying they feel like you know you're, they're not uh working towards something meaningful or you know they just can't find something that they like to do that is offered at a university which you know there are a ton of things now that colleges offer so i do encourage you to look but you know sometimes you just want to be a mechanic or sometimes you just want to be you know a certain uh certification type of job and that's fine uh and i think that that's a lot better of an option for some people than others you know uh some people would rather go to you know a nine month uh vocational program and get a job paying twenty dollars an hour or twenty five dollars an hour or whatever um right out of that program uh and then you know that's it and that's something maybe you're not passionate about that but it's far better to have a job that requires some sort of education even though minor uh, because then you're not working minimum wage and you know there's obviously more of a demand for whatever it is you know if you are if you have a degree in you know maybe um, or not a degree but like a certificate in um, I don't know fucking if you're you can be like a mechanic you can go to vocational school for to be a mechanic or I think there's you know some for like uh, hairstyling and haircutting and stuff like that you know there's these different skills that don't require a two or four year degree they just require a certain amount of months under training uh, for you know a certain thing and those programs again they're a lot cheaper they're a lot more cost effective they're a lot shorter so if you really really hate the studying thing it's you know less than one year and then you're done forever um, and again you don't get paid as much obviously but um, there's a higher demand for those jobs because it requires a skill set a knowledge base and you know a certification and hard work more than more so than like a minimum wage job so that's definitely an option for you if you are not thinking you don't want to go to college but you don't want to work minimum wage jobs for the rest of your life um, you know you can do that again truck driving is another thing you can get um, there's different classes of your license where you can go and study different uh, how to maneuver different trucks you know you need a certain license to drive a school bus or a tractor trailer 
killer. And these aren't glorified, you know, amazing jobs, but they're things that we need in this economy and people are willing to pay for it. So if you're really stuck and you don't know what you want to do for college or you hate college and you just want to work a regular job that's not minimum wage and make ends meet, that's something that you can do. You know, I would say look into different different programs, see what you might want to do uh, and pursue that. And that's definitely something that is beneficial and definitely an option that a lot of people should consider if they really don't like college out of high school, because what's going to happen is they're going to force you to go to college. And by they, I mean our society, your parents, the guidance council your teachers in high school whatever are gonna force you to go, go to college and what's gonna happen is you're gonna take out loans you're gonna hate it like you thought you would and then you're gonna fail out and you're gonna still owe that money so it's just better to be honest with yourself uh, and and I wouldn't say sell yourself short but just be honest if, if, you, if you're not sure what you want to do or you don't want to go or anything you know look into those vocational programs look it up online um, there I'm sure that your local community college probably offers some sort of you know a six month nine month program for various different things and then out of that you can get a, you know a job that's not minimum wage which is very very good uh, if you're someone who doesn't want to go for two or four years to college and finally um, if you don't want to do that and you're a very creative person and you want to make money with your hands that's probably really really like the most risky thing you can do you know a lot of people want to be painters or they want to be you know craftsmen where they can build like you know dressers or they can build workbenches or they can build things with their hands or maybe you know you just want to be a youtuber or you want to be a photographer or something like that uh, or a musician or whatever you know these things you can be successful in without any sort of education at all and you can do it on your own um, but I will say that you know in order to basically if you want to do any of those things you have to be you have to own your own business basically is what it is you know if you want to sell paintings you're an entrepreneur you make you make creative art and you have to figure out how to sell it to find how to find people who want to buy it and then what to price it at and things like that so you basically have to like run your own business and you know that sounds a lot more daunting than it is but you know you have to <laughs> have income you have to have money to invest in your business and it's very risky because if you're working um, a minimum wage job and you know even if you are lucky enough to live with your parents where you don't have to pay rent or bills or your phone bill or your internet or for food or anything like that working minimum wage sucks and if you're going to devote a lot of your paycheck investing in yourself you know maybe you need to buy a guitar or you need to buy microphones or anything like that or painting paints and canvases and everything you know um, that's very risky because you're spending a lot of your money on yourself and, and it might not ever take off you might not be you know as bad as it sounds good enough to actually you know um, make that your career but I would say that if you're very passionate about it and you have a support system and you have a way to you know fund your passion then that is something that you might want to do and, I, and that's definitely not for everybody that's you know it's probably for that that's probably the smallest demographic you know I would say um, you know, everyone's creative, obviously, but the amount of people who can actually turn that into a business is probably less than you think. And, you know, I think if that if that's like your calling and that's the only option that you have, that's the only thing you can even think about when you wake up is painting or drawing or whatever, you know, consider that, I guess. Um, it's probably better to do a hybrid path where you get some sort of certificate so you're not working minimum wage and then invest that money that you're making into your own business and over time you know if it grows great if not at least you have a backup plan I would say that's probably the best option um, but that does postpone you know you starting up this you know passion and dream of yours um, and just do it on the sidelines you know with my YouTube thing I would love for this to be my full-time job but I know that it's incredibly risky especially now with YouTube basically being broken um, that it's just very unlikely to happen but I'm still going to try and I still upload every week and I try to do my best to be entertaining and, and you know make videos that you guys like to do but I know that it's better to have a plan B which is why I'm getting my degree so that's pretty much my college rant I know a lot of you guys might be a little bit younger than me you're not sure if you want to stay in college or if you want to go to college or if you should go for something else um, I would say just do just you know try your best to know yourself and figure it out on your own um if you guys have any questions you can definitely put them down in the comment section below hopefully this video was a little bit helpful um a little bit insightful and maybe a little bit different from what everybody else is telling you you know drilling it in your head like you have to go you have to do this um and i'm not like again i'm not encouraging you not to go but i'm just saying i'm being realistic in that there are other things that you know our economy needs other people we don't need a hot if everybody in the world was a fucking doctor then it, we wouldn't be productive so 
there's obviously other options and hopefully this video has helped you realize what those are and that it's okay to go for those and um that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys enjoy the video if you did make sure you drop a thumbs up i would really really appreciate that uh comment down below again any questions or if you have any comments on what i talked about in the video let me know and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and thank you guys so much for coming back i know it's been a, like a, a few days since i last uploaded so thank you guys for returning and supporting me and uh yeah so anyway hopefully you guys uh enjoy the video it's the 20th right now so if i don't upload again before christmas merry christmas if you guys celebrate that uh and that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching this has been omniarch and i will talk to you guys again soon peace